Welcome back everyone another day another video and in today's video what I want to do is move items back and forward between my player slots and my backpack. And one thing that's worth mentioning is that once we drag an item from our player slots I don't care in which slot it goes I want it to select the first available so basically if it's a log so that means it's a stackable I want it to stack but if it's not a stackable I want it to add it to the first uh, empty slot but for the player slots I wanted to use the exact slot that I dropped the item on top of. So let's begin with uh, accepting on drop events in our backpack. To do that we need to go to our UI inventory panel. Let's go to the graph, let's add new, override function, on drop. Over here what I want to do is cast to the drag drop operation. Then from this operation, let's go get all the necessary variables. So let's get the item, let's get the index, and let's get a tag. Now technically there shouldn't be any other ways to receive an item, but just in case, what I want to do is check if this tag is equal to the equipment, because that is the only place where from which I want the on drop event to be accepted. Uh, but technically there shouldn't be any other ways but just in case let's 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 be sure and from the true then we can cast to the character and let's get the owning player pawn on this one and then so since we are moving this to the backpack we need to get the equipped backpack now over here what we can do is from the backpack let's add the item so let's first try to add the item to our backpack this item right here and then let's check if this is true to see if we were able to add an item and if we were able to add an item then from the third person character we want to remove amount at index let's connect this one right here so the index is this one right here let's split the item slot structure connect the amount and this should be just fine and the last thing from the third person character we should refresh our inventory widget like so and on all of the empty execution pins we need to return true since we have handled the on drop event so let me do this real quick like so we have another one right here and another one right here so now Let's test this out. Let's see if this works. Press play. Let's pick up some items in our player slots. Let's pick up a backpack and let's try to drop something on top of here. So as you can see, this seems to be working quite nicely. It doesn't work the other way around just yet, but so far so good. Let's drop this. Let's try this with a stackable item. Let's drop the stackable item. Three over here, four over here. So this seems to be working just fine. Now let's work on this the other way around so we can drop items on top of our slots. To do that now we need to open up the player slot. Let's go to the graph. Again, add new override function on drop. Here just like previously we can cast to the drag drop operation. Let's get the necessary things. Let's get the tag. Let's get the item. Let's get the what was left. So we have tag um, item and then we have also the index. Now from the tag again, let's check if this is equal to the inventory. So inventory and technically again, there shouldn't be any other things, but just in case, let's make sure so we don't remove unnecessary items. Then we can cast to our character get the pawn there we go there we go there we go now let's see so we have the player slots then probably we shall begin with trying to add to that specific slot so let's try to add item to player slot the item itself is this one right here and the index is the slot index that we have in this widget. There we go. So now we can do a if branch check to see if we were successful successful with this operation right here. 
And if we were, then let's get our equipped backpack of our character. And from this one, we need to remove amount at index. True. The index is this index right here. And for the amount, let's split the item structure, not reroute it, split it, connect the amount. And this should be working just fine. So now again, let's return all the execution pins we have execution routes. There we go. This one and this false right here. And then this at the, at the end. And I always forgot to from the third person character, we need to refresh our inventory widget so that we know and see the updated things like so. And now just uh, as of right now, I remembered one thing in our inventory panel, what we should probably do before we try to add item to over here, because if we would try to do it now without equipping a backpack, I believe we should receive an error. Oh, but we are not receiving an error. This is interesting. This is very interesting because this should give us an error technically. Since we don't have a backpack, uh, but the, the route is equipment, that means it's trying to get this, it's trying to run the function, because technically we should do is valid check over here. So let me be super safe with this one. And in the inventory panel, before we add an item, let's check if this thing is valid, just in case so that we don't get any unnecessary errors over here. So now this should be just fine. And so this one should be fine as well. So now let's try let's try moving items back and forward. So I have a couple of pallets. Let's drag them on top of here. So we have one pallet over here. Let's try this slot right here. It seems to be working just fine. Let's go back. There we go. Working nicely. Now let's try this once more with the stackable items and the stackable items should be able to split now. So if we drop, we drop one on here, one on here, they both are getting split up and we should be able to add pieces to this one as well. Just make sure the amounts are correct so that it wouldn't spawn us five items all of a sudden out of thin air. So this seems to be working just fine. So yeah. Uh, that's going to be it for today's video. Now we are able to move our items back and forward. We're able to drop them on the on the ground. As you can see, we are dropping logs one by one, not all of them at the same time. So I think this is working just fine. So if you have any more suggestions for this uh, inventory system tutorial series, make sure you leave a comment down below with your suggestions and I will add those features as soon as I can. Also, make sure you subscribe. That helps the channel grow. And yeah, thank you guys. See you guys in the next episode.